let's see. So we have another derivative problem, and here we can treat each term separately. We can do a derivative of 3 sine squared x, the derivative of 2 sine x, and the derivative of the one term separately. And the second two are fairly easy. In the second term, 2 sine x, you have a 2 multiplier, so you just take the derivative of sine x. Uh, the third term, it's just a, a constant term of 1, which is the derivative of that is going to be 0. The tricky part of this, I think, is the way they present 3 sine squared x. And I think the best thing to do here is to rewrite that term so that you see it in parentheses. Uh, so we can have the 3 as a multiplier. You have sine x inside the parentheses and then squared. And this way you see that it's um, a composition of two functions. Basically you have a sine x inside a parentheses squared. And so when you do the derivative of this, you're going to have to multiply. Uh, you still have 3. The first thing you're going to do is the, parent the parentheses squared derivative, which is just the power rule. So you bring down the 2, you leave the inside alone, right, and then you reduce the uh, exponent by 1. But then after you do that, you always should finish with the derivative of the inside, um, and the derivative of the inside is cosine x, right? So that's... Um, the chain rule for the first term. The second term just becomes 2 times cosine of x and you get a plus 0 which is it's not really necessary to write it but some people like that right and from there it's really easy because you have sine x times cosine x you have 2 cosine of x uh, so you just end up with 6 uh, sine x cosine x minus 2 cosine x Right. And if you want to do some factoring, you can put 2 uh, cosine x, and which leaves you with um, 3 sine x minus 1 on the inside, and that would be your final answer.